What is going on, everybody? Back with another one. As always, thank you for checking out the videos. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. We're trying to get this algorithm in the channel's favor, We're trying to make this algorithm happy. So all the support definitely makes a difference, and I appreciate it. This is a long video, so I'm going to try to make the intro short and sweet. I won't have a big, long rant. But basically, I wanted to show you guys what training is looking like after class is done, you know, what the conditioning workouts have been looking like. And also just really show who else has been getting getting to it, getting after it, who's been putting in the work, you know, where I get my inspiration from, where I get motivated from, you know, anytime I see someone putting in that extra work, anytime I see someone saying, okay, let's go one more, one more, one more, that gets me, you know, ready to, to just tear everything up and put in super work. So just wanted to show that show you guys like, look, we, we're over here working, we're over here putting in the work, we're leading by example. And the people that I surround myself with, they have that mind frame like, look, normal is just not enough. Just doing the minimum is never enough. We have to make sure we leave it all on the table. And that was really like the reason why I even kind of started doing these like post class conditioning sessions was it was a few reasons, but for me, like just on a individual level, you know, working out for me has always been like a th has been therapeutic for me. It's been my therapy. And, you know, with 2020, with what happened, you know, a piece of me died and that piece will never come back. Like that piece of me will always be gone forever. Like I'm, I'll never be myself ever again. I already know that. But when it when I work out, when I train and I push it to the point where I feel like I'm ready to pass out, where I'm ready to die. I feel alive for those few hours. You know, that's my little mini therapy session that I have every time I step on the mat, every time I go to the gym is I go so hard and people wonder like, how or why do you go so hard? It, it's so much more than just, okay, I want to look good or I want to be this or I consider myself a beast. That that's all that's low. That's not even, you know, 10 percent of the pie. It's my therapy. You know, it's the way I'm able to just get everything out. Basically, the amount of pain that I put myself through the workouts in a weird way, I'm trying to match the pain that I feel every day, just going through just the day to day life. You know, just dealing with everything that has happened to me, like I'm always in pain, I'm always hurting, I'm always, you know, it's rough every day. And in my weird brain, it's like I'm going to match that pain with the pain of the workout, with the pain of, of jujitsu, you know, with the pain of the conditioning, you know, pushing, 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 pushing myself, pushing others, almost trying to say like, OK, I'm trying to make it more painful than the pain that I'm going with, you know, every day dealing with losing my mom, dealing with just everything that's happened and just has hit me. And I know I can never match that pain. Like it's two different types of pain. But for me, it's like, okay, I don't care. I'm still going to try to go as hard to that point, to that point to where, yeah, I want to pass out. I want to die you know, to do, so I can feel alive. You know, and I know we're getting dark already, but it's, it's those things that, I can feel alive and I can feel good and I can put a Band-Aid on, on the wound for a little bit. And then also, I'm, I want to bring out the best in other people. You know, I love seeing people who are like, we getting it in after class. I love when people are like, nah, let's go one more. I don't even have to say it. People are just like, nah, let's go again. Let's go one more. I'm seeing more people get into it. You know, that's something that inspires me also when I'm around people who don't want to settle, who just want to, yeah, they, we, we have to level up. You know, it's not even about should we or should we go another round or should we do some more? No, we are. And they're pulling me up. They're lifting me up just so I can lift them up. So that's a little insight to where the drive and the motivation comes with these workouts. Why I go so hard, why I'll do, you know, go to work, go to the gym, work out, you know, before I go to work, jujitsu in the night. You know, it's for me, it's like it's so much more than just. The aesthetics is so much more than just, OK, I want to be a badass. You know, it's so beyond that. That's going to come regardless. And I, I don't need that validation. I already know how I get down, you know. But for me, it's my therapy and it's my therapy that I have to make sure I get 
every day. So long story short, let's get into these workouts. Um, we're going to keep rocking and rolling with these, video with these videos, guys. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. Video, new videos on the way. Peace. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank uh -huh. 